What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. In this review, I am going to do a water fountain, but this one is going to be a bird bath water fountain. So basically, we want to try to keep some water in here just so the birds can take a bath. Now, what I will have to do is make an inlet and there will be an outlet. So basically, you already know this will be the inlet. So water will come in through the middle and water has to go back down so it can resurface. Now, what we want to do is make sure we have enough water in here. So what we're going to do is put the outlet right here on the side. We're going to keep it at the height, maybe like uh, a half inch less then up here so that way the our green basin right here not basin but our green potter right here the saucer pan won't overfill so stay tuned and let's have some fun the tools i will be using for this will be my nikhil set also will be using waterproof silicone this is white i don't have clear so i don't feel like going to get a clear one so we will be using white it don't matter because i will be having rocks in here also not rocks everywhere but there will be rocks in here and that's about it i will be using the fountain that i did a review on i will put a link of uh whatever i reviewed in the description and let's have some fun. This is the thing I like about saucer pans and pots. They already put your center line in here. We have our pipes that's supposed to go through here and we want this to be tight as possible, like airtight. So that way when we put our silicone, we don't have to put too much silicone. We're gonna put our pilot hole in the center mark. Okay, put my Nikio bit on. Gotta love these bits. Like I said, you want it airtight, airtight, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Almost there. Okay, so that's cool. I could actually stick the extension in and put this on top. So let's try to see if I could get y'all a little closer so y'all can see. All right, so y'all see this edge right here? That edge is gonna sit at the very bottom. And then this will go over top. Since this can't go through the hole, our skinny uh, adapter right there that's on here could go through the hole. So if I squeeze this tight enough, it should give it a good tight fit. Now that it gives it a good tight fit, we can just caulk up a little bit. We don't have to caulk up a lot. So that will be perfect for us. So that will sit in the middle just like that. You guys, fountains are easy to do. You just need patience. A little bit of skills, but for the most part, patience. Now we have where the water is gonna leave out. Cause right here, I want the water level to be at least a half an inch. In case I forgot to tell y'all, I got this two and a half gallon bucket from Walmart. Now, another thing I can do, I can put the bucket in here to use this as my water source. Instead of you filling this whole pot up with water, you could just use the bucket in here. Just in case you want to use it for maintenance, you can easily lift up your, your potter, clean your pump and stuff like that. You don't have to use the whole uh, pot as a water source. And it's messy, I know. <laughs> and water is staying right there. So that's good. Water is not leaking. I didn't even have this stuff on for five minutes and 
no water leaks. And I am going to measure the bottom of the pump to my eight inch mark. I'm gonna make a mark, make a cut, and call it a day. Okay, you guys, so this is not bad. Now, the issue that I'm having for me personally, this is me personally, I have the water going up too high. So maybe I will bring it down some more, but I'm gonna use a bigger pipe so more water can leave out. All right, you guys, we are finally done. I actually put a three quarters PVC pipe in there and the water is flowing out perfectly. Um, Remember I told y'all I was gonna have it two and a half inches so it could be uh, a half inch less than this. I really have this probably like a half inch above the surface. So that way a little bit of water come here, the birds could still take their bath. If I want the water level higher, I could lift my PVC pipe and bring the water level higher. Now that's depending on the size bucket that you have underneath. Me, I have a two and a, I think it's a two gallon bucket from Walmart. So if you have it up higher, that means more water will be here, less water will be in your bucket. So keep that in mind. But me, I'm gonna have it a little bit lower because I want the rocks to actually show while it's getting wet. And I will show y'all the final product, but the issue is I lost sunlight in the garden and it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the rest of the week. So I will probably plug this into my Instagram or I will plug it into this video depending if I drop this video a little bit later during the week. So, yeah. See y'all soon. If I don't see y'all, if I don't plug this video in, uh, have a good one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, you guys, so the pebbles I will be using is called the Dorado Beach Pebbles. These are about two, three to four inches. So basically this is what they look like. Got different colors, different varieties, different sizes. And we're gonna put it into the bird bath. This is what they look like dry. This is what they look like wet. And that's about it. Let me finish up the rocks for my garden. I'm gonna fill this up more with rocks and then that's about it. I got mulch right here too, from Walmart. All right, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe.